Hey guys, what's up? We're back for another Thanksgiving treat. Sitting here, listen, I've been cooking my tail off. I am excited. But listen, I'm going to show you guys something that's really quick, simple, have the best taste in ham ever by everything that you have in your house. Seems like a lot of stuff here, but it's not. So, I hope you guys don't mind the music in the background. You know I'm new to this. But when I cook, I listen to music. I get down. All right. So, this is going to be, you know, when I grew up, I grew up with the basic sweet glazed ham, which was just your pineapples and maybe some cherry sauce and stuff like that. We're trying to, we're, we're switching things up. It's 2018, you know? My mom still has good ham. Don't tell her I told you this, but mine is better. And we're not using the dull pineapple slices. You and I are gonna cut this bad boy ourselves. That's the good thing about marrying a Jamaican. You gotta learn how to do stuff like that. All right, so my hands have been washed. Make sure you wash your hands. I've also, this is a about a 14 pound butt end, bone end, so like the butt end, bone end ham. I don't really like the shank ham, so. All right, so this has been washed and clean. We all know that ham is salty, right? So let me show you what we're gonna do with this. All right, so as I said, let me show you what we are going to do with this. We got a lot of stuff here, but very easy. This is about a quarter cup of fresh squeezed orange juice. This is coconut palm sugar. For you guys that use brown sugar, you gotta invest in this, I'm telling you. It has a different texture. We have some regular dark brown sugar. We have our secret ingredient here. We have about two tablespoons of honey. And this is a cinnamon and, uh, guys don't laugh at me. I've been cooking too long. Oh, this is a cinnamon and nutmeg mixture. Um, and this is mustard. Ooh, it's hot in here. Them lights is killing me. Y'all can tell I ain't used to this crap. All right, so we're gonna keep it real. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't on the Food Network yet. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix all of these ingredients together. And we have butter because we're gonna be cooking this down because we're gonna be shooting this bad baby up. All right, this is five tablespoons of regular dark brown sugar. Um, so we're gonna dump that in there. This is about four and a half tablespoons of the coconut palm sugar I told you about. And just so you guys can see, it's more of a grinier texture, whereas this sugar, it packs. Dump, ooh, that scared me, guys. Gonna dump that in there. This is our nutmeg and cinnamon mixture. And be careful with the nutmeg and cinnamon because that stuff is strong. So that is only about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now, with our two tablespoons of honey, let mix all this together. We got the ovens and stuff going in here, you guys, so it is hot. I don't really like honey, but it's a great thing to cook and I don't like it raw. This is about two uh, and a half tablespoons of mustard. This is regular yellow mustard and about a half a tablespoon of honey Dijon mustard. And this is gonna help the glaze stick, even though we're gonna liquefy it and then re-thicken it up. All right, so let's mix all this together. Make sure we get all that. We want the whole ham to be seasoned all the way through. All right. Now we're gonna take our orange juice. We're gonna dump that in there. And as you can see, we want that brown sugar to really melt down. So I'm stir that up as best we can. All right. Now, over here we have about a tablespoon of molasses, right? But this is a great sweetener. 
and molasses is nothing but burnt brown sugar for you guys who don't know so it's more sugar but it's also a thickener so we're not going to mix that in the sauce just yet all right take all our other stuff give that a big whisk all right and then here the best thing to have is a sweet smoky ham so i'm going to put a few dashes of liquid smoke in here my husband's recording me, you guys, and he's dropping everything. And you guys are about to hear me cuss. Sure. All right. So, if you can see the consistency of what we have, we want to get all those lumps of brown sugar out of there. So, you see, we have a nice concoction there. And what I typically do, especially before it gets on the raw pork, I like to taste it just for sweetness. That's good. And that orange juice, that fresh squeezed orange juice, gives it a nice flavor. Wow, that's good. All right, well, got that done. We're going to set this to the side because we need to add another juice to that before we get to the special stuff. All right, so before we get to this, over here we have our fresh pineapple. And yes, we are going to cut this ourselves. So, what you do, if you've never cut a pineapple, you're gonna turn it on its side, and the first thing that we wanna do, be very careful, you need a very, very sharp knife, and we wanna cut the top off here. All right, just take it off like that, and if you're into decorating, keep that as a centerpiece, okay? This is what you look like on the inside. We're gonna turn around, and do the same thing to the butt. You need a very, very sharp knife for this. All right? There's your butt off. We want to try to save as much as the pineapple as possible. And for anybody who goes and buy a pineapple and doesn't know when it's done yet, when you squeeze it, if you look right up in here, it should bounce back a little bit. So that's how you know when your pineapple is ripe. Now, because I need this in rings, if I was going to slice this, I would just slice it down the middle and cut out the core. But we need fresh pineapples, and I want it in rings for four stars to put on the ham. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around and do this and take off the skin, trying to save as much of the pineapple as possible. And for people who think, oh, that's a waste because they like the strips, you get great juice out of this. So you kill two birds with one stone, and it's so much better than dole pineapple in the can with all that syrup. We have enough syrup with our mixture over there. We don't need any more pre-packaged canned stuff. This is about home cooking. It's Thanksgiving, for God's sake. Put a little effort into it. All right. So, for the most part, I did pretty good, as you can see. Got most of the core out. I mean, most of the skin off. Now, for people who don't know, it has a hard core right there in the middle. So, we need to take that out. So, you're going to need something like a donut cutter or something. So, let me just clean this up a little bit. Be very careful with the sharp knives. You're not supposed to cut towards yourself, but... I've been cutting for a long time, but for beginners, cut away from you. All right, so you're gonna get a nice good hold on that. And you see when I go down, it got a little bit tough. That's that core that I'm going through. And it is giving me wonderful juices. All right, do a few of them so you can see. There's the rest of our pineapple. Now, what you would do from this point, be very careful, it's juicy and slippery. What you would do at this point is this core right here still needs to come out, very tough. So if you have a little circle, something about this size, something that's metal, you would just take a little bit smaller than that actually. You would actually take it out. But I am doing something special for the kids. So I am going to use my star cookie cutter and so I think I am. Let's see if this works. Let's see if I can get it out of here. I don't want to waste all my juice. Let's 
Let's see if we can get this to work, folks. Remember, I am just using this for decorations. This will not, this part will not be eaten. Let's see if this is sweet. It's juicy. Wow. That's sweet. That's an ugly star. But the other thing that you can do, because I don't have a circle cutter, so you can also cut the core out by doing this. This is time consuming, but since I only need three or four, you need to be very careful, especially since I'm using a sharp knife. Actually, let me get a paring knife. All right, let's use something smaller so I don't cut my finger before Thanksgiving. How about that? All right. The core is very, very, very hard. That's why you need a circle thing. So I'm just gonna do like that. And we're gonna cut the circles out just like that. As I said, so now I guess I'll invest in a circle pineapple cutter, but at least you know now how to cut a pineapple. All right, guys, so now we got all our pineapples cut that we're gonna use. Still got some left for us to snack on. All right, so what you're gonna do, I don't have one, as you guys can see, I didn't even have a ring cutter. But we have squeezed about, this is uh, about a half a cup of fresh pineapple squeeze, freshly squeezed pineapple juice. And remember our mixture we made earlier, we just sat there, that citrusly flavor, and I got chunks of pineapple in here. We're gonna dump that in there as well. So, and as always, the description of all the things that we use, and trust me, this is stuff that you already have in your house. So, you don't have to do anything extra. All right. We got that all mixed up. The only thing we have not added is our molasses, which I said we were gonna do at the end after we inject it. So we're gonna take our mixture, and for you guys who are wondering what's in this, this is Caribbean white Hennessy. That's gonna be the kicker, and yes, kids can eat it. I cook in it all the time. All right, see you guys over at the stove, let's go. All right guys, we're over here at the stove. I have me a little quart saucepan. Don't need much for this. Let's turn this on high. And now we are going to make our glaze injector. First thing we're gonna do, and this is real butter. And it's unsalted because ham has a lot of salt in it. So we don't wanna be adding too much more salt. All right, we're gonna let this melt down a little bit. So I'm going to dump our concoction in, get all that sweet goodness out. We got that whole 13 pound ham to glaze and inject. Now we're gonna cut our fire down to a medium. I don't know how much this is, but we'll start with a tablespoon of white Hennessy maybe a tablespoon and a half. And this is just going to, with that liquid smoke, give it a nice, it's a cognac. And if you've ever cooked in a cognac, there's just something so good about it. Because you're gonna be cooking or simmering this for a few minutes, don't worry about it, the alcohol will cook down. So for anybody that's worried about, oh, there's alcohol in it and gonna get drunk, it's gonna burn off. So we're gonna let that boil for about two to three minutes and we'll see you guys back over at the counter where the ham is so we can inject this and get this in the oven. All right guys, back over to this luscious ham. So this is our sauce, all right? We're gonna take our injector and we're gonna suck this up. Look at all that. And you want to get this while it's still a little warm. We let it cool down for about two minutes. You don't want it to be too hot. And we are just going to look at that. 
as it comes out, it makes its own cracks in the ham. So this will be coming from the inside. And this is another reason why I left the skin on because we're gonna glaze this thing all the way through. Whoops, we had some shoot over there. And I do not want any of this to go to waste. And after we finish injecting this, what we're gonna do with the rest of the sauce, because we can't have it too thick in order for it to go down in the ham, that's why we did not add the molasses yet. You're gonna be the talk of Thanksgiving if you do it just the way I did it. And you can leave out the white Hennessy and still be the talk of the party. That's just my little added secret. I'm gonna leave this sitting and I'm just gonna let it marinate like I do everything so that when the stuff is cooked, it's down to the bone. You don't want people to add salt, pepper, nothing to your stuff. Now, I'm not gonna use all of this, and we're gonna take the brush and brush some of this on here. I'm gonna add a little of this molasses because now I want this to really thicken up. And that's what the molasses is good for. Remember, it's nothing but burnt brown sugar, so. That's all that is. And you don't need a lot of it. So I started with about a tablespoon. And what you can do, again, taste your sauce, get a spoon. Wow. You don't want to change the taste too much. All right, I'm gonna grab the rest of the sauce because we didn't pull it off from the pan. So as you can see, it's already starting to get thicker in the pan. It's leaving us a kind of a ring right here. All right? And now that we have the molasses in there, and this is where you're gonna taste and make sure that you have the right everything. All right, I think that's perfect. All right, now, the first, because I want this to go on, and then I'm gonna put the pineapples. Don't forget, we have the pineapples. So, I'm gonna change from that to my brush, and I'm just gonna brush all this goodness on there. fresh pineapples and I was able to cut them thicker I actually don't need five six seven eight so start with three and see what we have No, we don't want to use that piece. Let's see. I think three might be enough. We're going to put some cherries on here as well. So now what I'm going to do is take the rest of my sauce because I want the pineapples to eat that up as well. And we're just going to dump. And look at all of that sweet goodness there. Look at that. And make sure you get all of it. 
And since we punctured the holes in there, and you can see it's uh, getting thick already. All right. So there you have it. Now we will put cherries on this. I know everyone's used to seeing cherries in this little spot. We will do that in the morning before we put it in the oven. This is now going to sit in its own goodness and it will be baked tomorrow. All right, so when this comes out of the oven, we'll come back and see what it looks like and we'll slice it and let you guys see how tender this is gonna be. We bake in this ham at 325, 15 minutes per pound. Hey folks, all right, it's been about two and a half hours. Our white Hennessy palm sugar ham is done. And look at all that sweet goodness and oils. And so I did not baste this the entire time. There was no need to. So this is what it looks like, all completed. This is a part of our holiday feast. So I'm just gonna let this go sit and rest. Never cut into your meat while it's hot. You will absolutely ruin it by allowing all the juices to flow. And if you look at the, this, you see this oil that is just butter and white Hennessy and all your sweetness. And then as this sits, this will get thick. So when you slice the ham, the glaze will actually stick to it. And since we injected it from the inside, you can actually see the pockets that it created right here. And that's just where all the marinade is just running through it. So from my family to yours, thank you for hanging out with us for our Thanksgiving 2018 holiday feast. We'll definitely put up some pictures of all the food that we cook. See you guys soon. And by the way, hey guys, it's Lady C back. Hope you've been a part of our uh, Thanksgiving special. We did a couple videos for you today. We got the bomb. We got our mac and cheese, our stuffing, sweet potatoes, rice and peas, curry chicken, that fried turkey. We got the barbecue uh, beef spare ribs. We got the collard and mustard greens with smoked turkey. This is what you call down south, but y'all know I'm up here in Maryland in this 32 degree weather. So once again, we wanna say happy Thanksgiving to all you guys for 2018. I'm hot and sweating, and I'm gonna go eat some chitlins after I told y'all I'll eat them. Peace. Wait, my name is Juju, and make sure you like my mommy's video. Like and subscribe. Bye. Make sure you be good for Santa. I'm getting a motorcycle. Bye.